Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button because you're going to like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. There's normally a lot of talk about where you should put your retirement funds, whether it's a 401k, an IRA, whether it's traditional or Roth. But today I'm going to talk about the first place you should put your retirement funds and that is an HSA. An HSA is a health savings account. And what it essentially is, is an account very similar to an IRA in the sense that it can be used towards your retirement, but it can also be used to pay for your medical expenses right now. And with an HSA, as a single person, you can put in $3,500 a year, or as a family, you can put a combined total of $7,000 a year. And I won't get into many details about the health savings account specifically. I actually have another video where I go into more details. It's a two part series. Uh, so make sure you check out that video. Today, what I'm going to do is tell you why I personally max out my HSA before I max out my 401k or IRA. Now let's first look into the numbers for how much money you can put into an HSA versus how much money you can put into a 401k or an IRA. So with an HSA, as I mentioned, as a single person, you can put in up to $3,500 a year. With a 401k, you can put up to $18,000 a year. And with an IRA, whether it's a Roth or a traditional IRA, you can put up to $6,000 a year. Now these are 2019 numbers in case you're looking at this video years down the road, those numbers may have changed and likely they have increased. So with an HSA, just like with your 401k or your IRA, once you get into retirement, you can pull that money out penalty free and you can use it for anything that you want. It can be for spending, you can use it to go on trips, you can use it for groceries, whatever you choose to spend it on, you can spend it in your retirement with an HSA the same way you would with a 401k or an IRA. Now the major difference as far as using that HSA right now compared to your 401k and your IRA is the fact that you can use it for medical expenses. And because each of these accounts, you have the option to put in money pre-tax, that means you're not being taxed on the money that's going in. That's also reducing your taxable income for the year. But not only that, when you use these funds for medical expenses now, you're actually saving money by using your pre-tax dollars. So if you make over $9,700 as most full-time working adults will, but you make less than $39,740, then you're in that 12% tax bracket. Now, if you make between $9,700 and about $39,000 is the top of the next tax bracket, any funds between that $9,000 and $39,000 will be taxed at a 12% tax rate. And most average full-time working adults, they fall within this range. So you may be thinking, you know, 12% not a real big deal 10 percent, not a big deal but it's like your base it's kind of like getting a discount but it's also kind of like giving your dollar a superpower of now my dollar is actually worth a dollar and 10 cents or a dollar and 12 cents now if you make above thirty nine thousand dollars this is when it really makes a difference because every dollar that you make over that thirty nine thousand dollar threshold is actually taxed at 22 percent. so now your dollar at this point is worth a dollar and 22 cents every dollar that you earn which is then spent to pay for your medical expenses so for that reason alone having that ability to use up to thirty five hundred dollars a year for a single person or seven thousand dollars for a family to use that money before it's taxed to pay for the same medical expenses that you would be charged for otherwise it's a great way to use those funds and save money on taxes at the same time now another power that you have is that if you choose to spend your after-tax dollars to pay for those expenses, you can reimburse yourself years later for those expenses through your HSA. So that means over the years, while you're putting $3,500 or $7,000 a year for a family into that HSA account, instead of using that cash value to pay for your medical expenses, you can actually invest that money the same way that you can with your 401k and your IRA. You can put that money into mutual funds or index funds, uh, exchange traded funds, and you can invest in the stock market the same way you do with your IRA or with your 401k. So it's a great way to add another account that you can invest in to put money towards retirement. But again, the big difference between using an HSA in retirement versus using an IRA or a 401k is that even once you're in retirement, as long as you use the HSA to pay for medical expenses, it's still not taxed. So you're still getting that great benefit of avoiding paying taxes when you use it specifically for medical expenses. 
Now one similarity, which is slightly different from the 401k match, is that with an HSA, usually your employer will actually put something towards your HSA. So they may at the beginning of the year deposit maybe $500 or $1,000 or $1,500. So that's free money. Whether or not you put your own funds into the HSA, your company may add money to that anyway. So that means if your company were to put $500 in your account as a single person, and you have a maximum of $3,500 that you can put per year, that means you only have to put $3,000 in order to get to that maximum. And if you're a family and you're getting 7,000, let's say for a family, maybe they double it, maybe they give you $1,000. Now, instead of putting the full $7,000 yourself, you only have to put $6,000 to maximize it. And I'll add that while we will maximize our HSA first, or while I do that myself, you always wanna do your 401k match first. So whatever the maximum that your company will match within your 401k, whether that's 1%, 2%, 4%, maybe 8 or 10%, make sure you're putting in the minimum amount required in order to maximize your 401k match. And then once you have that 401k match, don't worry about maxing out the rest of that $19,000 a year that you can put into your 401k. Immediately start putting money into your HSA. And you don't have to wait to do one versus doing the other. But what you can do is based on how much money you're able to put into your retirement in total, you calculate whatever that percentage is, let's say it's 4%, you make sure you put that in first, and then you calculate what percentage of your paycheck you would have to put in to maximize your HSA. Once you figure that out, then any additional funds, if you have any that you have available to put into a retirement account, that's when you start putting more money into your 401k. And then that's when you start putting money into your IRA. But you wanna go with this order first. You wanna go with your 401k match, then maximize your HSA, maximize your 401k or your IRA. Those are essentially the same thing. There aren't many benefits that are different between a 401k and an IRA besides the fact that your company will match your funds in the 401k. So that's why you wanna do that match first, maximize your HSA, and then max out your 401k and your IRA if you can. Now for each of those, you wanna put that money into your pre-tax accounts. Now with an HSA, there is no option for a Roth HSA. It's only a traditional quote unquote, or a pre-tax HSA. But with your 401k and your IRA, you actually have the option to do either pre-tax, which is called a traditional 401k or traditional IRA. And you have your post-tax, which is your Roth 401k or your Roth IRA. Now I won't go into details about the differences between those right now. The main difference is that with a Roth, you're taxed now versus with a traditional, you're taxed in retirement once you start to actually withdraw those funds. There are some great resources out there that'll actually show you how to take money out of your traditional 401k or your traditional IRA and transfer that into a Roth IRA. I won't get into that in this video, but maybe in the future, I'll talk about a video just like that, where if you're a person in the FIRE community and you're looking to take advantage of not only the pre-tax currently, but down the road, if you wanna retire early, you can take advantage of transferring that money into a Roth IRA and still gaining those tax benefits once you withdraw in retirement when they're not taxed with a Roth IRA. All right, so I talked about why I personally max out my HSA before I max out my 401k or my IRA. As I also mentioned, I always do the 401k match first because that's an automatic 100% gain if your company is gonna give you a 100% match based up to a certain percentage, whether that's 2%, 4%, or 10%. It varies based on your company. You always wanna do that first, but once you put in the minimum required to get the maximum match, that's when you start putting your money in your HSA and then you max that out before you max out any other retirement accounts. So if you wanna learn more about the details of an HSA and what the actual expenses are that you can use your HSA to pay for, make sure you check out my previous video where I talk about the HSA as the best investment account. It's a two-part video, so make sure you watch both parts. There's a section talking about investing and then there's a section talking about the actual type of expenses that you can use your HSA to pay for. All right, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button because you really liked this video and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.